um, and you've already installed the plugin. Um, if you haven't installed the plugin, you can actually go to their website. Um, it's called Udesign Studios um, to get the plugin. It's actually very worth it. It's code.udesignstudios.net. Code.udesignstudios.net. <clears throat> and it's worth the $20, $20 purchase. So anyway, um, you purchase it, you upload it um, to your your website. You should have someone who's familiar with the FTP and extracting the files, uh, putting them in your plugins folder, <clears throat> and get it into WordPress for you. Um, I'll just show you how to use the actual system and not show you the install. So um, anyway, you're logged into your dashboard. You click on plugins. Inside, you have a little U billboard um, option here. Um, you can uh, edit existing U billboards. You can add billboards. <clears throat> General options, import and export. I'm going to click on U billboard. Um, we created one already, um, and this is the actual code that we've used and placed on the, the home page of this particular website here, um, Hugs for Heroes. <clears throat> um, it's a very um, simple and effective um, slider. You can actually use it to go through the slides um, or it automatically goes from slide to slide. <clears throat> I go ahead and go into the dashboard and click on billboard. Um, I already have mine set up um, 960 pixels wide, um, height 355. You can set it to whatever you want for your design. Um, you can shuffle the slides, you can have them autoplay, or you can have them play when they actually someone clicks on them. You can pause the video, <clears throat> uh, square size, uh, you have different colors here, bright style, dark, uh, save you billboard. Um, slide order, you can actually have 25 different slides and you can move them around in the order that you want, you just grab it and you move it. Uh, so I wanted two to be one, one to be two, I would just do this and I'm done. Once I'm finished, you always select save you billboard. So I'm going to go back. I got slide one, two, three. I'm going to leave them the way they are. <clears throat> okay, and I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. I have more controls. Uh, you can show a timer. If you click that, it shows a little wheel that goes around when you're you know, going from page to page. Um, you have different skins for it. You can go ahead and test those things out. Every time you change any of these options, you're going to want to always select uh, Save You Billboard and then go back to your page where you have the billboard um, installed and refresh it. Okay. So now I'm back in the uh, dashboard here. Um, you have, uh, in most cases, you're not going to touch this after your developer or someone who's installed it and, and fixed it for you. But if you're the one doing it, you can control all these options. Okay. <clears throat> you also have uh, the ability over here uh, for general options for the U billboard for optimization. You can read more up on that, but most of the time you'll just want to um, use the compressed JavaScript to make it easier uh, for multi platforms. I'm going to click on U Billboard again here. I'm going to click on the billboard that I created. Um, and I only have two slides in here just to show you the difference. You can roll over the image and it'll show you what image is on there now, uh, the corner image. Then you roll off and then you can click on the content. Um, if I wanted to change that, this particular image here, which is the uh, Marines, I'm going to insert it. So in this case, <clears throat> and then I have content, which is the actual text itself, uh, the link. The transition, if I want the transition between them, content, you have the editor here, content editor, and you can put in the content you want, okay? Once you're finished editing the content, you can click on save, and it saves your content. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new uh, billboard down here and just show you how this works. I'm going to click here, get the image. I'm going to go find an image, and let me go into my sites here. And I was just going to grab the, actually, let me grab one of these other guys. Yeah, let me just grab Sarah Peterson here, put her on there. Okay, so I was going to put Sarah on there. Um, I can put alternate text, captions, whatever I want. I, I do want to do it full size. Um, you could play around with the image sizes that you want to put. I'm going to select insert in the post, and then it's going to um, actually give me the slide here. So it gives me all of her uh, on here. Um, and I select content, and I'm going to go ahead and select the content editor. And then I'm going to select contact editor, and then I could, I could actually put uh, add new box here and then put this text box wherever I want. So um, this slide here is actually the background image that's going to be tiled. So I can put my uh, header up here, hello, and then down below saying, 
uh, this week in whatever. Okay. Um, current skin, inherent, transparent, dark, bright. Uh, you know, I could use whatever I want. We're using dark in this case, like save. Okay. Uh, link. I could link it if I wanted to, and then the transition. Uh, the link here, if uh, uh, it doesn't let you do a pop up for a link, you'd actually have to go to a page. And in this case, if I wanted to link to uh, their website, I'd highlight their URL and copy it. And then I would just go in here and paste it into the uh, link URL. Okay, and then the transition, I can select what I want, transition direction, whatever. And I'm finished, and then I select up here, and I select Save View Billboard. So now I've got three slides. One with uh, Marines, second one with more Marines, and then the third one down here with a uh, tiled version of this young lady here. So if I go ahead and go back to my home page and I refresh. I now have three slides. And you can see my text there is in black. So you're going to want to, whatever your slide's going to be, you know, obviously you're going to, and then I make my, my link actually takes me to the, the website that we linked to from that banner. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into here. But anyway, it's pretty easy how to use it. We'll go back into the actual dashboard. I'm going to remove that slide because it's, uh, it just doesn't look good. Okay, so it's real simple. I can roll over it, or I can just click trash here and select OK. When I'm finished, I go ahead and select Save You Billboard. I can always preview it too if I want to take a look at it before I make it live, so um, it's not live on my website. That's it. That's how you use the U Billboard.